I don't know where to start, man. They just revealed the biggest trailer yet. The second Pokemon Sun and Moon trailer, it was better than the first. How did they step it over the first? I don't know. I'm going to go through it with you guys. I already watched it. If you guys want to see my live reaction, click the link in the description. It'll take you to the live stream that happened like 40 minutes ago. I think that was like one of the greatest reactions because this trailer is impressive, man. Like Pokemon Sun and Moon, I can't... I don't, know what, I don't know what to expect anymore. Masuda's implemented this system where in the beginning of the month, a new trailer drops and then Koro Koro leaks later on, maybe revealing new details. But the main thing is now in the beginning of the month, June 2nd, May 10th, you know, in like a week, they're going to tell us like August 1st, actually E3. Oh my God, dude, they're revealing stuff at E3. But you know what? Let's leave that for now. We're going to go through this trailer. I'm going to make sure, don't worry, you're not going to be lost. Start here. This is what they revealed. Let's go. So the first thing they revealed in this trailer finally is Solgaleo and Lunala. Powerful legendary Pokemon. Solgaleo, the psychic steel type. Ability full metal body. A psychic steel type is what Solgaleo is. You can see when Salamence uses moves or abilities that should lower Solgaleo stats, it doesn't. The, when it uses its signature move, which is about to say right now, look at this. Sun Steel Strike. It's sing the wall. Normal effective against Salamence. That's its signature move. Sun Steel Strike. Oh my god, dude. So because it's normal effective, it makes it me wonder what is it a fire move or a steel move? If it's normal, it has to be a steel move. We don't know. Maybe it's a fire slash steel move, or maybe it's some sort of other dual type. But just remember that it was normal effective against Salamence. So it's probably a steel type move. Which is kind of weird for Solgaleo, but a steel fire, man. That is a good type. I know you've got earthquake issues and all that, but that is a good type, man. Next one, Lunala, man. 1A, a psychic ghost type. Its ability is Shadow Shield. And what it does is, when you take an attack and you're at full HP, look how beautiful that thing is. Freaking, oh my god, dude. Moon Geist Beam. Whoa! Super effective. It's a ghost or psychic. Whoa. What if that was a ghost slash psychic move? Four times effective against Gengar. Holy crap, man. Now, like I said, they don't show what Shadow Shield does, but what it does is it makes it so you take less damage from attacks when you're at full HP. So they're both defensive abilities. Don't touch my stats and don't touch my health. It's cool because if you look, it's Moon Geist Beam. Lunala represents the shadow more than an Eclipse Legendary should. Lunala is the shadow, while Solgaleo is the light. I think that's the theme that's going here. The sun and moon is the theme, but in terms of what they represent, it's like light and dark. It really is light and dark. And then you get to the best part of the trailer. If you look in the background, you see more than a few islands. And they finally reveal it. Welcome to the Alola region, which is not made up of one island. But more. They show us the protagonist, the male and female character. Uh, there's not much you can see new in the male and female character because we've seen them in the overworld before. But one thing I want to say is you can change the skin tone at the beginning of the game just like you could in X and Y. But you can also customize your clothing, it seems. Because in the first trailer, during different parts of the trailer, you could see that like the stripes on the shirt turn black. So he's wearing a black shirt now. Subtle hints. I mean, a striped black shirt. Subtle hints they throw in there to show that character customization should be returning. So just keep that in mind because they do show you the starting customization screen. And then you get to Professor Kukui. Now, this is the interesting thing. If you remember in the first trailer, you get your Pokemon from someone called Hala. We thought that was the Professor. Professor Hala gives you your Pokemon. Hala is a Hawaiian tree. Kukui is a nut. And he's the Professor. Not Hala. But Hala's the one who gives you your Pokemon. So who is Kukui? Is Kukui going to give us another set of starters? Maybe, dude. Maybe. Maybe he's the assistant of Hala, and he's like a personal professor for you. But one theory I had is the fact that he's wearing that sea life attire. And because of that, I was thinking that maybe he takes you around these different islands. But you can see in this screenshot, you're talking to him on your bottom screen. You've got different buttons you can push to bring up a different main screen. Right now, we're video chatting with Kukui, and he's showing us the islands of Alola. These, this is the Alola region. Zoomed out multiple islands. This, this zoom out, this region is what you would see when 
when you look at Hawaii, this range of islands, it's really cool. He says the Alola region is made up of several islands. That could be the reason there's a bunch of rare Pokemon on it. Like he says that. And then you get introduced to a mysterious assistant for Kukui. Now it's, it's weird. Try to get this hierarchy. You've got Hala, the dude who gives you your starters. Then you've got Professor Kukui. And then you've got Leo. Leo is Kukui's assistant, but is Kukui Hala's assistant? Who is Hala? Like, we've got this character who gives you your starters, and we don't know who it is. Like, it seems like an important character, a gym leader. I, I don't know if it's the... I mean, I'm not gonna say he's the champion or something, but that is an important character to give you your starters like that. She's got, like, this ominous appearance, like, this dark vibe when you look at her. The fact that you catch her as she's turning around, like, you snuck up on her, maybe she's, like, an assistant of Kukui's, and she, like, steals information from him. Like, imagine if she works for the evil team, and then she steals all this information from the professor to help the evil team get closer to Solgaleo and Lunala because now when you look at them they look intimidating as hell man I don't want to go near them anymore let's keep going how the dude you meet from the trailer so the story in the first trailer was that a little boy moves from Japan to Hawaii and he makes a friend because they both play Pokemon and that counterpart in the game is this guy this guy you meet he's a new friend in the Alola region and he actually chooses the starter that's weak against yours so it makes it seem like he's one of your two starters because it's weird to have a starter I mean uh, a rival that picks the weak starter against you then you get to learn that the Pokedex you use in the game is a Rotom it it's an entity that travels with you, talks with you, and is your sidekick adventure buddy as you go through the Alola region. A brand new Rotom, a Pokedex type. It's the next generation of Pokedexes, but it's only complete once Rotom has gone into this body specially developed for it. And then it turns into Rotom Pokedex form. A brand new Rotom form, man. This, this is, I was saying this in the live stream. This is just going up and beyond. This is just creativity. This is what Nintendo is about. I mean, Game Freak's also Nintendo, but this is what Pokemon has been about, this creativity. So, Rotom was introduced in Gen 4. In Platinum, they introduced a bunch of other forms. So to see them finally introducing a new form that's unique and a Pokedex form, an idea that I would only see in a fan game, is mind-blowing, man. Like, my reaction, you gotta see my reaction to this and everyone's reaction to this. What could be interesting is you get like an empty Pokedex and then maybe after you beat your first gym, Rodom joins you. But what's cool is you have a Rodom as essentially your partner Pokemon. Think about that. Your partner Pokemon is the Rodom. Maybe actually, maybe this is what Kukui does for you. Maybe he gives you this Rodom Pokedex and that's the special part. You know, Hala gives you your starters. Kukui gives you your, your Rodom buddy. Like, that is an important thing. To have a Rodom that travels with you. Now, admit, that is an insane trailer, man. Now, whenever they drop these trailers, they update their site, you know, internationally so everyone can start seeing the new details. But they reveal additional details. You can't fit all that in a trailer. They will reveal lore, uh, more about their typings and stuff on the site. And you can see they updated their site with Solgaleo and Lunala. I don't know what the translation says. Apparently, the key to our adventure are these legendary Pokemon. The She Cries Son, Solgaleo, and the She Invites Month. So she cried a son, then invited a month? But like I said, it's updated internationally, so we can actually just use the English type. Look at that. Introducing Solgaleo and Lunala. Lunala has 1A. I, I can get used to that. So Solgaleo is the soon Pokemon. It's like a, a French hard way of saying sun, soon. And the moon Pokemon, okay. Solgaleo the Sud Pokemon. It's 500 pounds and it's... Psychic Steel? What? I'm crazy! Psychic Steel? It's not a fire type? What? This entire trailer I've been saying it's a fire type. So, no, 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 no. Dude, that answers so much. Okay, it's a Psychic Steel type and its ability is Full Metal Body, which protects it from stat-reducing things. Since ancient times, Solgaleo has been honored as an emissary of the sun. It is referred to with reverence as the beast that devours the sun. It holds a vast amount of energy and it shines with light when it's active. Like I said, it really is light and dark. It has a flowing mane with remarkable resemblance to the sun. Its signature move is Sun Steel Strike, an attack that charges at an opponent with the force of a meteor, disregarding the target's ability. Disregarding the target's ability. And like I said, Solgaleo's ability, Full Metal Body, makes it so its stats can't be reduced. Sun Steel Strike. It uh, ignores the opponent's ability, so no matter what ability the opponent has, it can hit it. And what that means is I can Thunder Punch a Volt Absorber. 
I can Thunder Punch a Lightning Rodder, pretty much. So Sun Steel Strike is super interesting because Solgaleo is a Psychic Steel type. I'm wondering if Sun Steel Strike is a dual typed move. Introduced in Gen 6, they introduced Flying Press and I think, I think it was just Flying Press, just one dual typed move. If they introduce that to leeway into these legendaries having dual typed signature attacks, that would make sense. Sun Steel Strike, a dual Psychic Steel attack. And that's why it was normal effective against the Salamence. It's not a fire type attack. I can't believe I actually thought it was. Now let's look at Lunala though. So Lunala is the moon Pokemon. Weighs 200 pounds. Is huge as hell. But that is of course from its wingspan to like its tail. Like it's the maximum wingspan length. And it's a Psychic Ghost type. And its ability is Shadow Shield. It says, since ancient times, Lunala has been honored as an emissary of the moon. It is referred to with reverence as the beast that calls the moon. They say Lunala can constantly absorb light, which is what Sogaleo emits, and it can convert it into energy. And when it surrounds its wings in the shape of a crescent, it absorbs surrounding light and resembles a beautiful full moon night sky. Its signature attack, Moongeist Beam, is the counterpart to Sogaleo's Sunsteel Strike. It does the exact same thing, except it would probably be a special attack that disregards the opponent's ability again. And like I said, its ability is Shadow Shield, which makes it so it takes less damage when it's at full health. It's got a shield. When you take a step back, they say that Sogaleo and Lunala hold a vital key to your adventures in Pokemon Sun and Moon. And it's weird because when you look at them in the first trailer, they're in this like shrine area as if they were like summoned. So if we have Solgaleo and Lunala representing the emitting of light and the absorption of light, then you've really got legendaries that represent darkness and light. Lunala of the dark and Solgaleo of the light. So before I move on, let me show you a quick thing. You see how it says Psychic Ghost and Psychic Steel? Well, on the Japanese site, it would be an icon instead. You see that? It's icons. That's the Psychic and Steel. So this is what we did with these guys. We dragged this out. Icon 7 has appeared. Icon 7 has appeared. Icon 7 is Psychic. Icon 8 is Ghost. So if you guys remember my analogy of the little bag, they pretty much added images of Solgaleo and its typings into the little bag. So if they were to accidentally add more images into that bag, like if they added like the typing for some third legendary, you could find it. That was the analogy. And if you want, I'll go on the Japanese site. I'll open up the little bag thing so you guys can see. And you guys can tell that there aren't really anything else than these. You got Icon 7 with Psychic and Icon 9 with Steel. But this brings up one thing, guys. So there's been a recent rumor that uh, Rowlet is going to lose its flying type and become a ground type. And that was because the order of the typings for the first six typings was Grass, Flying, Ground, Fire, Water, fighting. So it looked like the ground typing belonged more to Rowlet and people thought that Rowlet would lose its flying typing and become like a digging owl and would actually become like a ground type owl and Litten would stay pure fire and Poplio would become water fighting. But that was based off the fact that these icons have to be in order. But we just learned right here that icon 7 and icon 9 are what represent Solgaleo's typing, not icon 7 and 8. So you know what man? I think Litten might be fire ground. And I think in a good way. I know that makes it so Pop Leo can actually hit Rowlet with an Ice type four times effectively, and uh, Litten with the Water attack four times effectively, making it like the ultimate starter. But the thing is, man, these starters, yeah, they're balanced with each other, but they're still balanced even if they can four times hit each other. Like, for example, okay, let's say Litten evolves into this Tiger. He's a Fire Ground type. Maybe his ability is like Sandstream. Maybe he summons a Sandstorm, and he's like this Desert Lion or something. And he's got his own benefits that make him into intimidating okay so you don't have to compare it with these guys you don't have to say because Rowlet is four times weak to ice that it sucks no 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 just between the starters so guys that is the first part to this live discussion there's gonna be a second part this trailer was way too big so i don't want to make too long of a video to cover all of it so be sure to look out for another video on like the legendaries the pokedex new ways to find pokemon in your pokedex a lot of cool things that they actually reveal like this was a major day man every beginning of the month is becoming a major thing it's gonna like this system is epic man i can't can't wait till August. Actually, one thing I want to mention in the I was saying this in the beginning, but at E3, they're gonna reveal even more information. And I'm going to E3. So I'm gonna cover it for you guys. So I think it's like in the center of the month, um, June 15, which is like two weeks from now. That's around the time Koro Koro leaks, but that's also around the time that E3 is gonna be going with the Pokemon stuff. So they may work in conjunction. E3 might reveal something new, Koro Koro might reveal something on the side. We don't know, man. This is a good month. So, of course, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this. Speculate in the comments below, guys. This is fun stuff. 
And as always, keep playing, keep laughing, and as always, keep believing. See you in the next video. Peace.